guys i am diz i get drunk and say things and this is domino she judges me harshly and lock is on the floor so today uh we are doing another one of those weird diz talks episodes where i just randomly talk about things i am a lot more drunk than i was the last time we did this uh kind of an episode so today the plan is to i googled ideas <laughs> for me to talk about for 11 minutes oh by the way 11 minutes is already on the clock we're like 10 minutes in doesn't matter 10 minutes in you know we have like 10 minutes left doesn't matter um uh i got i bleh, <laughs> i googled like questions social questions to ask because i thought that would be kind of fun questions that google says you should ask in social settings uh that is not what i got what i got was like questions to ask your social media people or whatever and so uh any of the questions that i ask please feel free to uh, answer in the comments below the the questions that i'm interested in actually your answers because some of these <laughs> it's a hundred questions some of them like meh. uh but others are kind of interesting i read three questions before i was like this is a good idea let's do this uh, anyways, we're pulling 100 questions off of uh, socialmediacopy.com. Hmm, yes, I don't know what that means. Oh, I forgot to touch up my lipstick. Okay, so I like got ready to do this episode and then got drunk. And then now you have to deal with whatever this is. So um, this is my hair, the way that I sleep in it. <laughs> and this is me with no lipstick because it wore off on the bottle of wine that I was drinking. You are welcome. Okay, let's get into these questions. My all-time favorite book. I guess you guys are just going to learn a lot about me and, and, and all of this. Uh, my all-time favorite book. I uh, don't really have a favorite book because I don't really read books because I'm dyslexic. So I listen to them. So I would definitely have to say Stephen King is amazing, and I think my all-time favorite book is probably uh, The Shining. I think I like The Shining more than um, the the Doctor one, which I can't think of the title of it right now. <laughs> ah! I both love and hate being drunk at the same time, and I'm probably gonna super hate myself tomorrow, which is when this airs. So. I hate myself today. <laughs> um, if you could travel to one place, what would it be? Uh, the UK. I've always wanted to take my mom to like, I am um, Wales because that's where her family is from. Our family, her her side of my family is from is from Wales. So I think it'd be fun to take her to Wales or Scotland or Ireland or anywhere in the UK. I think would be fun. Um, all I want for Christmas is my two front teeth. I can't even take that question seriously. Uh, my all-time favorite Christmas movie is I Hate Christmas. And we're going to leave it at that. I don't like Christmas movies because I don't like Christmas. Uh, the place where, or the place to enjoy New Year's Eve is my couch. Uh, if, <laughs> if I could be anywhere right now, where would I be? asleep <laughs> my favorite beverage of choice while working is a rock star because i really like to drink energy drinks or water one or the other um if someone made a movie about my life it would be titled deb bitch <laughs> uh i don't know Dizzy the Dinosaur? I don't know if they titled my life. Uh, uh, she may be dyslexic, but a little bit schizophrenic. But it's a good story. I don't think that's a good title. I don't know. I got nothing. Uh, if someone made a... Oh, that's the same question. My favorite way to relax after a long day is... Dang it with my dogs. I have a problem. It's an addiction. It's my dogs. Uh, one food I could eat every day is... <laughs> what? No, that's stupid. Uh, would you rather... Ooh, I like these kind of questions. Would you rather eat out or eat in? Uh, 
Would you rather uh, drive or fly? Fly. I love being on a plane. Uh, would you rather be on stage or in a crowd? On the stage. I don't like crowds, and I really like to be on the stage. Would you rather vacation at a beach or in the mountains? That depends on the company. Um, I really do like being on the beach, but with the right company, I really like being in the mountains. But with the wrong company, I really don't like being on a beach. So, And it depends on the beach. Are there rocks on this beach or not? Because if there's not rocks on the beach, then it's not a beach. Um, would you rather have a maid or a chef? Uh, a chef. Definitely a chef. Would you rather do laundry all day or clean bathrooms all day? All day? Laundry, definitely. Would you rather uh, work in an office or work from home? I hate being in the office at work, so I'm going to say work, work from home. And then I could be a dog mom, like a full-time dog mom. You hear that? You're asleep. You don't care. It's 1.30 in the morning. What does she care? Uh, would you rather have five close friends or 10,000 Facebook friends? Uh, would you rather have five close friends or 10,000 Facebook friends? That's a stupid question. What, what if I had six friends and 10,000 Facebook friends? I, that's stupid. I don't, I don't get it. I don't comprehend what you really want from me. Would you rather have uh, free Starbucks for a year or free iTunes music for your life? Definitely music. I hate coffee. It's gross. Uh, would you rather lose all of your money and valuables or all of your photos? Uh, that's stupid, too. There's so many different ways to store photos and so many different things to define as valuables. That's stupid. I don't like it. Way too much thought. Uh, would you rather be alone or surrounded by annoying people? Alone. <laughs> I don't even have to think about that. Definitely alone. Uh, would you rather never use social media again or never watch another movie or TV show? Uh, fuck social media. I really like the movies. Uh, would you rather have an easy job working for someone else or be your own boss but work incredibly hard? I would rather be my own boss than work for someone else. Uh, nostalgia. What was the best book you ever read? I don't read books, uh, but when I did actually force myself to read through books, it was definitely Chuck Palahniuk's Lullaby. That book is super messed up. And I have actually, actually read it, not listened to it, but actually read it multiple times. Um, what was the best vacation you've ever been on? any vacation with my mom she's an amazing travel partner so hands down if my mom's there it's a pretty damn good vacation uh when you were young what did you want to be when you grow up a teacher i feel like that's a super dumb answer but i really did i wanted to be a teacher when i was really young it wasn't until i was like a teenager that i was like i want to be on the stage i want to be somebody that everybody knows. But yeah, when I was really little, I wanted to be a teacher. What was your first job? Aside from working for my family, I uh, mowed greens on a golf course. Very, very cool. What was your first car? Does it matter? It didn't go into fourth gear. It was a stick shift, but didn't go into fourth gear. It was red. It was on Hyundai. Uh, I can't pronounce that word, but that's okay. Um, I don't remember the other specifics of it. I didn't, I mean, I had it for a long time, but I didn't drive it for any time, really. Uh, it taught me how to drive a stick shift, though, which is kind of fun. Uh, before kids, I don't have any kids. Wh oh, sorry. Oh, God. I have kids. They're dogs. <laughs> um, what did you, uh, think you would never do? I don't even think that's relevant. Uh, what was your favorite food as a kid? Uh, favorite food as a kid? <laughs> corn dogs. I really like corn dogs. I still to this day really like corn dogs. Um, what do you remember about elementary school being picked on because I have really thick glasses? Uh, who was your most interesting teacher? 
I had a te an exchange teacher from Australia, and uh, she was super cool. Her name was Miss Walker, and she taught me a lot. She was actually the one that pointed out that I had dyslexia and that I was smart and not stupid, because up until fifth grade, I thought I was really stupid. Uh, what was cool when you were young but isn't cool now? Thanks for that. Thanks for making me feel super old. Questionnaire, social media, whatever. Uh, what was your earliest, or what is one of your earliest memories? Seeing my mom for the first time. So I uh, am legally blind and literally could not see anything or the world around me. Um, so everything was blurry. And I remember getting my glasses. They were, uh, oh, time's up. I'm going to finish the story really quick because why the fuck not? Um, but yeah, they were, they were like purple with rainbow or with a butterfly in the corner and shit. But yeah, my first real memory growing up is seeing my mom on the ride home from getting my sunglasses. I stared at her the whole way like a total fucking creeper. But it's because I'd never actually seen her before. So I just stared at her and took in every moment of that. Anyways, oh, wow, God, I did not realize how personal this episode was going to get. You're fucking welcome. Uh, but uh, I guess this is the point of my YouTube career that I let you guys in on some super personal things. Uh, I don't know if I ever cared to do this again, but if there's any questions that you guys have about me personally, uh, leave them in the comments below and I will debate on answering them. Because depending on how personal they are is how willing I am to answer answer the questions. I came up with some like super personal weird topics that led me down some really weird paths uh, about this this next Diz talk. But I guess this Diz talk that you got is just about Diz. So uh, if you guys have some ideas of random things you want me to talk about for 11 minutes, I am almost down. Uh, some topics that I've come up with, I'm like, I don't know if I can talk about for 11 minutes. So if you guys want to hear me talk, uh, leave them in the comments below because I have been slacking on coming up with idea no i have a bunch of ideas for my channel i just haven't sat down and recorded them by the way this is our mr potato guy so Locke got a hold of it and she ate it in half and i don't know if that's gonna make her end up with the scoots that she ate half of a rotten potato but yes i did find all of all of its legs and arms and uh, attachments the nose i found that too oh it's right here uh, the mouth is still on the desk. Uh, anyways, so the eye, I, I know where that's at, but it's not right here. Oh, it's right. It is right here. I did tell it to go in the desk. So she, oh my God, you scared me. Yeah. Yell at her. Yell at her. Yeah. Dom's still trying to teach Dom Locke to be a decent human dog. Anyways, uh, if you guys like this video, hit the like button. If you like me, hit subscribe, turn on notifications so you don't miss the next one. If you really just like my doggos. You can follow them on Instagram and here on YouTube because, oh, hello, computer, because I started uploading shorts of them. You guys are totally welcome. I will continue that of uploading shorts of my dogs because they do adorable things every day. Um, but I, I won't upload a video every day because I just, I ain't doing that. But I will upload like a bulk amount of videos in one day. You're welcome. Uh, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you like me, hit subscribe to notifications every day. Thank you for watching and stick around for the shit that's about to come out of my mouth. That's not what I say. Stick around for the stuff that's, uh, I don't know. I normally don't cuss, but uh, I think I've drank almost a bottle of wine. And I feel like the people that, that watch this, that watch this and work with me are going to watch this the next day and be like, oh, that's why she was so hungover yesterday. You guys are welcome. Anyways, uh, thank you for watching. I think I already said that. <laughs> I'm really liking these about how I can just come in here and talk for 11 minutes. Literally, the last one that I did, I just edited the beginning and the end. I didn't watch any of the middle and just uploaded because I was like, well, this is Ron and Kai Dizzy just talking. Did you just willingly go into the crate? Why don't you do that when I try to put you in the crate? During the day, while I'm at work, should we let Locke onto the show for at least a second? Okay, fine. You guys will see how big she's got. Come here. Come show him how big you got. Come on. Yeah, look how big she is. Can you guys see? Nah, they're gonna have to watch the shorts. 
Oh, don't yell at her. I know. It's our show. Okay, I love you. Bye. Oh, yuck, you're the bestest ever. <laughs>